So today I'm working in my 10 by 10 journal and I'm going to stick down a fragment of this beautiful napkin that was sent to me in Happy Mail by Linda Bell. Thank you, Linda. And I'm just going to cut out the segment that I want and then I'm going to stick that down onto my page using the Mod Podge matte medium. Now we're all nice and dry, I'm going to start sticking down some fragments or torn fragments of a old book page. This comes from an old encyclopedia I was recently given, um, not in Happy Mail, but it was given to me by a friend. So I'm just tearing out some fragments from those pages and just gluing those down using the same Mod Podge onto the page. And once I've finished sticking down those fragments of book page, I'm going to bring out a sheet of circular stickers that I've created. Now these were just created with a scan from a dictionary page, and then I printed them onto a sheet of circular labels, and I've just literally taken the labels off the sheet, sticking them down, and then just going over the top to seal them with that matte medium. So I'm now ready to start adding in some collage elements and this is a new collage or digital collage set for art journals that I've created and this is now available on my Etsy store. This one I'm calling the Amethyst Beauty but again I've got a sheet of like old um, adverts from uh, an old newspaper. Uh, the scan dates back to the early 1900s and I've applied a purplish tint over the top of that so it's in keeping with the rest of the images on the digital collage sheets that are now available on my Etsy store. So this is another one of the sheets from the digital art journal collage sheet set, try saying that after a drink, and all I'm doing is, with a craft knife, I'm just going to fussy cut the character out, but I'm not going to make you watch me do the entire thing because that's obviously going to be incredibly boring, so I will just skip right to the end. So there she is, all nicely cut out. Just have to remove that segment from between her dress and her arm. And then I'm going to reach for my distress markers and I'm going to pull out the Dusty Concord and Vintage Photo in the distress marker. Now these are the water-based ones. And all I'm going to do is just using the brush tip end, I'm just going to go around and just get rid of those raw white edges on the collage cutouts. Thank you. 
and I also want to soften the colour on the wings so for that I'm going to bring out my Vintage Photo Distress Ink Pad and one of the ink blending tools and I'm just going to go around the edges of the wings just by hiding those raw edges and just to add a little bit of ageing to the tips of the wings. So back to the art journal, everything's nicely dried now and this is another sheet from the digital art journal collage sheet, I'm really following up my words today and all I'm doing is just punching out some circles from that purple background sheet um, and this is just with an inch punch I believe, is it an inch punch? No, it's a three quarter inch punch uh, and all I've done is just punch those circles out and I'm also now just tearing some strips from that backing paper and I'm just going to glue those down using the matte medium from Mod Podge again. And once everything's stuck down, I'm going to bring in my heat gun and just give it a little bit of a heat just to make sure everything's nice and dry. And then I'm going to bring out some paint and we're going to start adding some colour over the top. So this is lavender acrylic um, artist paint from Reeves. And all I've done is just added a little bit of water to it just to water it down. And I'm just going to apply a little bit of a wash just to the background and try and blend in some of the, all the patterns and the writing and the images that you can see from the napkin. Just try and bring it all together just by adding a base coat of that lavender paint. I could just have easily have added some paint onto the page and then maneuvered that around with a baby wipe but this is just one technique out of many that I could have done to achieve the same effect. It's all down to personal preference and it's all down to just how you're feeling on the day. So on with the next colour, again from Reeves. This is the same artist uh, acrylic paint and this is the violet colour. This is a deeper purple and all I've done is taking a lid from an old deodorant bottle and I'm just going to use that to make marks around the page primarily around the same areas where I've stuck down my circle stickers with the dictionary scan on it. So happy with the violet paint, time to wring out the titanium white. I'm going to do exactly the same thing this time with a smaller lid. Now, I can't remember where this one's from but it was uh, a very small, almost a three quarters of an inch one, almost the same size as the punched circles that I did earlier on as well. So perfect for layering with those circles that I've already stuck down. Put the journal to one side for now and I've taken out the matte medium again from Mod Podge and I'm just going to go over the back of my winged lady I'm just going to give her a coat and put it to one side and then apply some of the Mod Podge to my page and then we'll stick her down to see whether or not that will eliminate um, the majority of the wrinkles behind her. Now this was a little tip that was given to me by somebody who'd have to comment on one of my previous YouTube channel videos and I'm just testing out to see whether or not the tip actually works. So did it work? Well there are no bubbles in it and there are no wrinkles in it 
but that could be because I put the Mod Podge on the back or it could be because actually this is quite thick paper it's almost um, almost card so that could also contribute towards it but it's worth a try so now I'm just gluing down the little phrase box that comes with it's one of the phrase boxes that comes with the um, digital collage sheets and this just says stand out from the crowd and I'm just going to stick down some more of those circles that I punched out of the purple backing sheet with the same punch this is the three quarters circle punch and I'm just going to stick those again randomly around the page and I've also punched out some smaller um, circles from the dictionary scans from those stickers and I'm going to stick those down too. Now we're all dry, I'm going to bring out my Stabilo All Pencil, this is a black one, and I'm just going to draw around some of the circles and also around the word block and also just around a portion of my main focal point, which is Our Lady with the Wings. And then I'm going to grab my um, water brush and I'm just going to activate that pencil just to create a kind of shadow around those boxes and around the figure. Once the pencil is activated, you do have that freedom of movement to manoeuvre um, the, the paint or the, the black anywhere you want around the page. It is obviously as runny as the water is, so you can get it to run, you can get it to drip, you can manoeuvre it um, wherever you like. And you can leave the intensity dark or you can water it down so it's actually a little bit lighter. As you can see, you can add drips if you want to. They're quite a useful tool to have in your stash. So done with the dark, now it's time for the white. This is the white opaque Signo Uniball Rollerball Gel Pen. And this works really well once you, if you are wanting to write or put white highlights onto a surface that you've already added something like matte medium or paint to. It will write on it. But obviously you have to make sure that everything is 100% dry before doing so. So I'm happy with the white pen um, highlights, but I want to add some white splashes and some white dribbles. So I'm using the titanium white from Reeves again, just mixing it with some water on my page. And as you can see here, not enough water. So just adding a little bit more and then that's just perfect. So just using my fan brush to add some splatters around the page. And I think that is just about it. I'm happy with that and I'm gonna call it a day. So to finish off, I'm just going to grab my food ball pen and I'm just going to date it and sign it. And then this page is now complete. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please remember to give it a thumbs up so YouTube know that you want to see more from me and they will recommend my channel to other people who may yet have not found me. And if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel already, you can do so by clicking the button at the end of the video. That's all from me. I'll see you all again real soon. Bye for now.